Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna go over the all new zeroed adjustable gas block. I say all new, but what I mean by that is new for you to purchase. It has actually already been installed on a lot of our firearms that come with an adjustable gas block, but we have just released it available for your builds at home. So taking a look at what comes in the package, you're gonna get the adjustable gas block itself. It is gonna come with the adjustment screw and the installation screws already installed and you are gonna get the adjustment wrench, which also serves as an installation wrench. So this is a nice long wrench, which is going to help you accommodate being able to fit this underneath hand guards uh, for some longer hand guards. So I'm not saying it's gonna necessarily work with all of them, but you're gonna see that it is gonna work with quite a few. All right, taking a deeper look at the gas block, it is gonna fit a 0 0.750 gas block shoulder, um, which is gonna be pretty common for most I guess, quote unquote, standard AR barrels. You are gonna see that the adjustment screw is gonna be facing forward toward the muzzle end, and then you have two detent screws that are gonna help you snug it against the barrel. And when it comes to adjusting it, I'm not sure what adjustment you're gonna need to make on yours because I don't know what your barrel length is, what your caliber you're shooting, uh, what ammo you're using, or if you're running it suppressed. So just be mindful of the correct ejection pattern that you need for proper gassing and adjust this accordingly. Now, when it comes to adjustments, there are 20 adjustment points here and they are very tactile in feel and you can hear the detent click. So if I be quiet for a second, hold it up by my mic, you can definitely hear the detents when they click and they are very tactile feeling, so you can feel them through the wrench. If while you are adjusting it, you don't hear it clicking or feel it clicking anymore, that could be one of two things. One, you've got it bottomed all the way out and completely closed off. The other is you have it opened all the way up and you are just about to pull the spring out. So be mindful of that. If you're not feeling clicks, if you're not feeling the detent hit, then you're probably at the extreme of one way or the other. All right, when it comes to cleaning this, there are a couple ways you can do it. I'm more of a set it and forget it type of person and I might actually try to go and adjust the block and notice it's not moving. Sometimes I could simply just go ahead and put a little extra force on that adjustment screw and get it to go ahead and free up on me. If that's the case, I'm done. If I can't get that to work, then I'm gonna get something like Croil or a penetrating cleaner or CLP or something with it still on the barrel and with the handguard still on. And there is a little service port here on the bottom side of the shoulder behind the adjustment screw. Make sure that you get the cleaner or lube or whatever it is you are using into that port and let it soak. After it's soaked for a little bit, go ahead and take your adjustment wrench and see if you can move the screw. If the screw moves, that's pretty much all you need. Now keep in mind, behind that service port inside the gas block a little bit is a bit of a carbon clean out port too. Now you're not gonna be able to access that with the gas block on the barrel, um, nor would I recommend full service and tear down with the gas block on the barrel. So if just by simply moving the adjustment screw or using a cleaner in the service port and moving the adjustment screw doesn't work for you, at that point, you're gonna need to remove the gas block from your barrel and do a little bit more deep cleaning. And you can see this clean out port behind the service port toward the front. So this is not the gas port that you would use for the gas tube. That is on the opposite end. All right, so now let's take a quick look at installation. This is going to install just like any other 0.750 gas block that you've got. What I typically recommend doing is getting your gas tube and installing that first. If you have a vise or something of that sort, it's gonna be very handy in this particular application uh, because holding the gas block still while trying to install the gas tube roll pin can be quite tricky. I cheated and I already installed <laughs> the gas tube onto the gas block. Uh, so looking at the installation, just keep in mind, the adjustment screw is gonna face forward toward the muzzle. The gas tube is gonna come out of the opposite direction and is gonna kick upwards. With it kicking upwards, that means the port for the gas tube is gonna be facing down and aligned with the port in the gas block itself. Once you have that aligned, you're gonna see the alignment of the gas tube roll pin all the way through the gas block, through the gas block tube, or I'm sorry, through the gas tube, and now you're gonna put the gas tube roll pin in place. 
Once you have that in place, you're gonna have a setup kind of like this, and we're one step closer to installing it on the barrel. Now the next step gets overlooked by way too many people. You have your barrel, hopefully it's a CMMG, and hopefully you're gonna have some sort of detent or recess in the barrel that helps you align the gas block. But before we even try to put the gas block onto the barrel, one thing first, make sure that your barrel nut is on the barrel first. I've seen so many people that have come along, they've installed a gas block, they're building their gun, and then they go to put their hand guard on and they realize, oh, I didn't have my barrel nut on yet. And you gotta take all that stuff back off. So before you put the gas block on, get that barrel nut on there. From there, we're gonna go ahead and take the gas block itself and install it onto the barrel. Now you're gonna see 0.750 uh, gas block journal there. And what I'm gonna to try to do here is I'm gonna to try to line up this set screw with this little recess in the barrel. It might be a little hit and miss. You might have to play with it a little bit. I'm gonna start by eyeballing it and I'm willing to bet that I'm probably not as close as I think I am. I'm gonna hold things still and I'm gonna to start to snug up that screw. And as luck would ha have it, I actually got it aligned right off the bat. So the nice thing about that is if you're snugging it up and you don't quite feel that it's there, you can do a little bit of light wiggling to try to find that recess and then snug it up. But I got lucky and nailed it first try. <laughs> um, next, you're gonna go ahead and snug that all the way up. And you're gonna go ahead and snug up your front set screw. Now, one of the things you're gonna keep in mind here is you are gonna see that if you do have the recess in the barrel, the rear set screw is gonna be a little bit of rebated from the rim, and you're gonna see that it is not flush. Uh, the front one is gonna be more flush. That's gonna be an easy way to tell if you have things aligned, at least on our barrels. If you see both of these are kind of flush, you probably don't have it quite aligned where it needs to be. Go back and try to do a little bit better alignment. That's another thing to see later on too, is if you've shot it quite a bit and maybe you start noticing gas problems, like it's not cycling fully or something of that sort and you can't figure out what it is, go back and double check those screws, make sure they didn't back out on you because it might not be getting the appropriate gas to cycle fully. And it's pretty easy to see, just look and see if those are flush or not. Once you have those in, you can always go back and make sure you put some thread locker or something of that sort on there if you like. Make sure you have them tightened up as you need. And now you see you have the gas block with gas tube on the barrel and it is ready to insert into the upper receiver. Now, as a reminder, like I said, this adjustable wrench or adjustment wrench that comes with it is gonna be plenty long. So this is a mid-length gas system on a 16 inch barrel and you can see it is clearly going to clear a handguard as long as you don't have something strange going on there. Uh, so again, this is gonna come with a gas block, the wrench, or already installed on one of the firearms that you see behind me. And these are available now. So guys, I hope that was a good quick look at the zero adjustable gas block and how to install it. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, stay safe out there.